here uh, we have a sat math problem okay let's go over the question the expression 3x square positive 4 over x positive 1 is equal to which of the following okay here uh, we have uh, a division of uh, uh, algebraic expressions so we just have to find uh, the expressions and the options the one which is equal to the uh, given division of uh, algebraic expressions Okay, so to answer this question, uh, we have to write the given expression 3x square positive 4 over x plus 2. I mean, uh, we have to write the division of the given expression uh, in the form q of x positive r over uh, x positive 1. Here, this q of x stands for quotient and r stands for remainder. When I divide uh, this algebraic expression 3x square positive 4 by x positive 1. Okay, so when I divide this 3x square positive 4 by x positive 1, what question do I get? So to know the question and reminder, uh, I have to use a polynomial long division. So for this division of expressions, okay, let me do a polynomial long division. So the dividend is uh, 3x square positive 4 and the divisor is x positive 1. Okay, now I have to divide the first term of the dividend 3x square by the first term of the divisor that is x. When I divide 3x square by x, I'm just getting uh, 3x because the square, the x will cancel out. I'm getting 3x. I will write this 3x at the top. So this is the place where we'll where we will get the quotient. When I divide 3x square positive 4 by x plus 1. So 3x is a part of the quotient. Okay, so when I divide the first term of the dividend uh, 3x squared by the first term of the divisor x positive 1, that is x, I divide 3x. Now I have to multiply this uh, divisor by this 3x. So 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times positive 1 is positive 3x. Okay, now I have to subtract the expression 3x squared positive 3x from 3x squared positive 4. Okay, since I subtracted this expression from 3x square positive 4, I have to write the, I have to multiply the expression we have at the bottom by negative sign. So when I, uh, this 3x square is having positive sign because we don't have any sign in front of 3x square, I have to assume it's positive. So when I multiply this one by negative, it will become negative 3x square. When I multiply by this, when I multiply this positive 3x by negative, it will become negative 3x. So whenever I subtract an algebraic, exp algebraic expression from another expression, I have to multiply the second expression by negative sign. So I multiplied uh, both the terms of this expression by negative sign, then it becomes a negative 3x square, then uh, positive 3x becomes negative 3x. So positive 3x square, negative 3x square will cancel out and uh, the resulting expression will be uh, negative 3x and we have positive 4 over here. Okay, in the next step what I need to do is I have to take uh, this 3x, I mean negative 3x, this negative 3x has to be divided by the first term of the divisor, that is x. We have to notice an important thing in this step. Uh, here we have the same exponent for x in numerator and uh, for the x in denominator. So whenever we do polynomial long division, uh, once we get the same exponent uh, for the variable in numerator and denominator, so we are not supposed to continue this uh, step anymore. This is the last step uh, we do in this polynomial long division process. When I do, uh, I mean, when I divide the, this negative 3x by the first term of the divisor x, so this x, x will cancel out, I just get negative 3. Okay, now I have to multiply this divisor by this negative 3, as I did for uh, 3x. Okay, when I multiply this x positive 1 by negative 3, so first I have to multiply this x by negative 3, negative 3 times x will be negative 3x, and uh, negative 3 times positive 1 will be negative 3. Uh, just a moment. Let me clear this. Okay. Now I have to divide uh, this expression negative 3x negative 3 from negative 3x positive 4. So as I told you already, uh, whenever I subtract an expression from another expression, the second expression has to be multiplied by negative sign. So when I multiply this negative 3x by negative, it will become positive 3x. And when I multiply this negative 3 by negative, it will become positive 3. So positive 3x negative 3x will cancel out. And uh, this is positive 4. Actually, this negative 3 becomes positive 3, positive 4, positive 3. When I combine them, I'll be getting positive 7. So I got the remainder. So here, uh, this is the equation, which is q of x. And uh, this is the remainder. 
that is uh, r okay now uh, for q of x we have 3x negative 3 positive the remainder is 7 and for x, uh, x plus 2 1 the divisor should be written as this okay now uh, we can check with the options uh, so i think um, option b yeah option b is correct because uh, we have this expression in option b that is 3x negative 3 positive 7 over x plus 2 1 so the correct answer choice for this question is option b